Alright, I'm um, just doing a little update to the Muztech base game project that sort of got a bunch of useful stuff to just get get started and build a project on top of. So for version 1.1, which I'll uh, link to on this video and, and stuff, uh, it's got sliders for the audio mixer. So the audio mixer's got actually five different groups, uh, but I've just got master, music, sound effects and voice exposed to the player for sliders. Um, I didn't include the UI one, I just thought that could be one for the developer to get right and then leave off, but you could add your own if you want. Now, let's have a quick look at it. Okay, so it detects that you've got some other menu open and it opens the options me um, opens the main menu instead. Uh, but you can jump over here and see that it's loaded up from the player prefs where we've saved um, the slider settings. Uh, it's loaded them up and updated the sliders and updated the mixer. Uh, so that's all happening in the game manager code, which we can have a bit of a look at. Uh, let's jump back here and Master slider controls all of these ones. It could maybe be a different color or something in a way. Um, so that's all working, and um, yeah, it also works that when you hit play mode, it detects that you're sort of in this menu and it jumps over to the main menu. Um, if you load in a game scene, uh, as it did in version one, uh, it'll detect that you're in the game and it'll just shut down the menu so that you can get playing straight away. Now you heard the music just fade in a bit there. What's happening there is, for the simple music player, now this isn't related to the, the game scene. Let's get rid of that, just remove it. Um, with the simple music player, I've added a script to that. So this now, the audio source doesn't play on awake. Uh, instead, you set the volume that you want, 0.3 say, um, but this script will, um, you can set a start delay time, so don't play for two seconds, and then fade in over four seconds. So let's have a look. One, two, fades in over four seconds. Now, so you could just set that, I guess, to wait for 0.1 and then fade in over 0.4 of a second or something. Uh, what I was finding was that if I, when I'm playing, if I set the music to zero and then stop it and then start it again, even though the volumes were set to zero through the player prefs, um, as this sound started it would sort of pop for a second and then respect the volume you'd given it which was bugging me and I don't know if it was just happening in the editor uh, or whether it would be a bigger problem but I thought what I'd do because it's handy anyway is to make a little script where you could have maybe a music player and you can fade in the music so it doesn't start right when the application starts it starts up um, with a little bit of a fade in um, in, the, in the time that you want um, so obviously you could change all that but let's have a quick listen to a sh quick one This is a looping sound, so um, it does kind of come in pretty hard and fast right uh, off the bat. So it is nice being able to give it a little bit of a, uh, a pause. Um, let's have another listen. So that's not using the, the, the mixer group faders, it's just fading in the actual volume audio and that uses a coroutine to fade it in. And you can actually have it off to start with and even um, play it. It'll start counting from when this becomes active. So if I turn it on, uh, let's actually go wait for 0.8 and then fade in over 3 seconds. So if we turn it on, It respects that. I don't know what happens, you know, you can probably break it if you turn it on and off and stuff while it's in the middle of doing things, but um, that's kind of nice. Uh, I actually like those defaults. Let's go 0.8 and 3. Let's wait for one second. Okay, so that's that. Um, what else have we got? Yes, yeah, so you can drop the game scene in, and if you're editing that, then it'll just jump you straight into the game. Ah, now we left our little script off. Let's turn it on. 
So yeah, if you're just playing in the game scene and you actually have that on, like you might want the music to kind of come in straight away, but I guess that's set up for the expectation that you're coming into the main menu or whatever. Uh, let's try this. Yeah, I guess like 0.5 and uh, 1 or something. Might just be like a gentle fade in that's not so slow that it's distracting. Um, but yeah, you can have whatever the menu state you want and you'll pretty much be able to just um, bypass the menu if you just already have a scene loaded so you can jump in and test and tweak without having to go through the menu structure every time and in terms of in here let's actually turn the music to nothing and let's turn the sound effects up full and the sound effects so um, on the player prefab um, there's an audio source that plays the pickup sound of getting gems and that goes through the sound effects channel um, and the guards themselves also have an audio source that goes through the sound effects channel so let's have a look there's those guys there's that uh, if we pause it and put that right down quiet that's now much quieter so you have to, uh, you know, tell tell your audio sources which mixer group you want them to play through, um, but they should respect the sliders. Now let's go. Let's turn sound effects up, but music is zero. Uh, so let's just press stop and play again. So that was working nicely. It, we didn't hear a peep from that music. So yeah, they're all saved in player prefs. So let's have a look. Um, the game manager starts up. Um, we On start, it loads the player prefs, which are here. You can add more if you'd like. Um, that's just for the slider volumes. Um, I've also added these references to menu root base, so the very base of all the menus. Menu root main for the main menu root and menu root options for the option menu root so that you can run these functions like go to options menu, go to main menu and it just deactivates the ones you don't want and activates the one you do want and obviously if you had more menus like um, video display options or control bindings or something you could have some more menus that you can toggle on and off and have some more functions. Um, what else have we got? So there's this function that initializes the slider values on the option screen uh, and that is actually done with a slight delay um, just to make sure uh, it, it involves a system where I turn the options menu I make sure it's on for a moment because if you want to access and write to the slider values it needs they need to be active so I turn it on and then invoke uh, after a short delay, I initialize like the audio mixer values. Uh, um, these are the slider values, and these are the audio mixer values. After a little delay, that, this is also why I needed to have that music fade in after a short pause, because you kind of need to activate the menu, give it a second or a frame basically to make sure it is active, and then invoke these things, um, and then when I run those. Uh, down here, I load them in and then I set that options menu to be inactive again because I'm taking the player to the main menu. Um, so there's, there's maybe a better way to do some of that but I'm finding that working okay at the moment. Um, so that might be about it I think. Um, I've added the sliders and the player prefs. So that's version 1.1. 1 .1. Uh, feel free to grab a copy if you want to look at some of the scripts, use some of the scripts, use the whole project. Uh, whatever you would like. Cheers!